Hey guys, God bless you all. So I really did not plan on doing a video today um, because we are doing a fast from all electronics in our home. But as I was worshiping the Lord, he gave me a word um, that I prayed on and he is telling me to release it. So here I am. I just want to pray for us real quick um, before we jump in and stick with me through this whole video, guys. Listen, this is the sure prophetic word of the Lord that I want you to go and I want you to test. I want you to evaluate yourselves if you believe this is for you. And it's not going to be for everyone. Okay, but you'll know quickly if it's for you. But let us just pray real quick. Lord God, we love you. Holy Spirit, we worship you. We welcome you into this atmosphere. We know that you are here and we say you are welcome. You are welcome in our home, in our lives, in our hearts. Oh, Jesus, we need you. Help us. Help us to be more like you. Without you, we can be nothing like you. But with you, we are able to produce the fruits of the Spirit. And God, even if we produce them slowly, may we produce them, God. May we not become stagnant or grow fruit that appear good on the outside, but inside is truly rotten, Lord. May we produce lasting fruit because Jesus, in your word, you said that we did not choose you, but you have chosen us and you've chosen us so we could, so that we could produce fruit that would last. So help us to do that, God, because we can only do that through the power of your Holy Spirit. We worship you, God. I thank you for this word that you gave. I thank you for using me as a vessel to deliver this word. God, I pray that you would anoint my vessel now and um, remove all distractions, God. Soften our hearts to hear what you are trying to say, Holy Spirit. We thank you that you are a God who still speaks today. It's in Jesus' name I pray, amen. So I'm just going to simply read this, okay, guys? <clears throat> Those who gossip and call themselves Christians are like whitewashed tombs to me, says the Lord. They are like a cup that has been cleaned on the outside, but inside it's growing mold. If you don't look close, you'll miss the yuck. A Christian who gossips is the one who appears holy but truly operates in a Jezebelic way. Gossip can even be disguised. Listen to this. Gossip can even be disguised as discussing another person for the purpose of intercession. The Lord says you know if this is for you. And you know, <clears throat> excuse me, if you have crossed the line. You know if this is for you and you know if you have crossed the line. He's convicted you on gossiping and today you are receiving another conviction. Again, in such a loving way. God does not like, like a gossiper. In fact, I heard him say as I was typing this, he despises one. That's the word he used, despises a gossiper. He said the one who smiles in another's face and then yaps their jaws about them behind their back to another, says the Lord. This must come and will come to an end in my house. My exposure and my judgment begins in my house. Repent, repent, repent. And don't think that you are holy in my sight when you are not, says the Lord. Only the blood of Jesus makes you holy, for your deeds are like filthy rags in my sight. Repent for your ways, and if you are unsure, if you have been gossiping, go ahead and repent. If you question it, repent. And repentance does not mean just to apologize, says the Lord. It means to turn and to change your ways, so to no longer carry on in useless, unproductive gossip. I heard the Lord say that if what you are speaking is not building anyone up and possibly even tearing someone down, then the Lord says that we should shut our mouth and use wisdom. For he says, listen to this, for he says a fool says many words, but those who are wise in his eyes know when to remain silent. I'm going to say that one more time. He says, for God says, a fool says many words, but those who are wise in his eyes know when to stay silent. So don't find yourself on the side of a fool because you choose to gossip about another. 
because we are all imperfect beings, every single one of us but God. And he is so gracious that he would convict us today. Please, if this is for you, get right before the Lord and change your ways for he is coming like a thief in the night. And as he said, judgment starts in his house, in the church, with us. Be holy for I am holy, says the Lord. Look to me, says the Lord, and I will teach you my ways. Look to me, says the Lord, and I will teach you my ways. Listen, I heard God say, why? Why are so many not seeking my face? Ask the Lord. You are a Christian, you go to church, you read the Bible, and then you go about your day. Some of you even pray a few prayers to me throughout the day, yet you do not know me intimately because you do not actively seek me. You do not actively seek me. For my word says that those who seek me will find me if they seek me with all of their heart. But that involves something on your part, which is seeking going deeper. The Lord says, I am my word. Yes, but I am also more than just my written word. Listen to this part so close, so close. I am a real spiritual being speaking through the mouth of this vessel on the screen in front of you. Let all who have ears to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying to his bride. Let all who have ears to hear, hear what the Holy Spirit is saying to his bride. Now is the time to seek like never before. Seek alone, seek together. I heard it three times. Seek alone, seek together. Seek alone and seek together. Seek alone and seek together. That was four. (laughs) Those who seek me will find me. If they seek me with all of their heart, bow down and worship me. Worship really is your weapon and it will get you through the things that are currently going on and the things that are to come. Bow down and worship me. Humble yourselves. Do not think that you know me when you do not and do not believe that you are right with me when you are not, says the Lord. I am convicting many of you through this video and throughout the remainder of your day. May your hearts be sensitive to receive the conviction of the Holy Ghost, for he convicts and disciplines those he loves. In fact, his word says, if we are not disciplined by him, then we are illegitimate children. That was the Brittany translation. Well, that is all I heard. So I just pray God bless you in Jesus' name.